Euro against US dollar. This week has rise in value and we can see that the price has reached 1.08846 with this candle, bullish candle, and then the price has formed this bearish candle which has returned the price down, which has made this bullish breakout a failed one, so the price has continued to fall down in the opposite direction. Then the price has reached this area, which is a small start, uh, which is a lower side of this demand zone, and then the price rise to in value, reaching again the previous support now acting as a resistance. And on a Friday, we can see that the price has gone down uh, sh sharply with this scandal on a Friday reaching the start of this demand zone around 1.07825. The weekly time frame sure shows us that this was a bearish week because after the previous week was indecision currently this one uh, is a bearish one where the price has come very close to the 1.07825 a support level monthly time frame shows us that currently we have a bearish month but the, the month has just started the previous month was a bullish breakout which is indicating further rise in value but we need the next month not going back below below 1.07825 if that happens this will mean a fail, failed bullish breakout which will indication for the further decline down where the next levels will be around this one here 1.068 and then also all around 1.057 so this will trigger a sell-off but before that happens, we need to see how the month closes for now, the very important level is 1.07825. We can see also on the weekly time frame, which needs to hold in order for to prevent the price from falling even more down, and that is around this area 1.072. 1 1.072 is very close to this one. 1.072 is an area around here, what we can see on the daily time frame. So it is very important for the price to hold the price from preventing uh, moving down. So in this case, I will put this one here. Also a horizontal support line, just we, so we have a clear information where the price could stop. So let's put this one in shapes. Okay, let's put this one also. This is the supply demand zone around this support level. So this will be an area where it is expected for the price to reach if the price goes below 1.07825. Now, as it looks, we can see that the price has currently inside between the resistance here, 1.08846 and 1.07825, which needs to make a clean breakout to see where the price will go in the future direction. And we can see what are the next levels if the price makes a breakout above these two levels. What will happen? It depends, but based on the weekly time frame and the monthly time frame, it is very highly likely that there is a price uh, will move sideways until the price um, clean, uh, finds a clean its way, making a breakout above this one, 1.08846, or going below 1.07825. The monthly time frame shows us it is a bullish breakout, which is indication for the further rise in value. But before that, it is always possible that the price returns back down to previous resistance, confirming it as support before moving up. And that means 1.0725. The weekly time frame shows us a bullish breakout, which where the price has reached the resistance level, then it has bounced and in trying to find its way out because of these two indecision candles. So the daily time frame shows us also some kind of indecision. So currently there is no clear indication, at least for me, what I can see on the market where the price could go, and also what are uh, what are the levels where the could where the could price stop or to make a breakout. So currently it is indecision. It is the best to wait until the price makes a breakout out of these levels, and then we'll see what is the next target that the price is looking to reach. So before that happen, it is the best to wait outside and that is something that I will also do, waiting and seeing what will happen. Just a minute, I would like to put these levels so we can see what is the upper channel and also what, are, what the price is currently acting. So we can see it is a small a bearish breakout uh, outside of this upper channel, but it is on the support level that could also possibly hold the price from falling even more down. This is all for this week, see you next time and happy trading! That is all from today's analysis, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading!